Hello everybody and welcome to the Saints Place Dwarf Fortress. We are in the process of providing this guy with everything he needs to make his artifact. And uh, right now we're gonna try and see if we can make some leather for him. I think we have some green glass. Yeah, we have one. So maybe the leather is the problem at the moment. Tender hide needs to be a priority. Somebody is going to do that job. Fortunately for us. And we will see if that will uh, help. Yeah, it's just taking stuff. But, uh, no, I need to see people coming here, please. This guy is almost to go insane. But if he goes to say then that means we can't get a new migrant. Yeah, that's not that important, but uh, I'd rather keep him. Alright, he's standing to hide. Do we have any other jobs queued over here? No, the letterworks has no jobs queued, so that should be fine. Some combat is happening. Uh, ah, they're just sparring. Or hunting. So, he is gone. That means he is actually going to pick up the leather. Oh, he's getting some progress. And we are constructing cloth back still, so, yeah, progress is being made. After this, we should uh, definitely go back on uh, getting the clothing uh, line uh, going again. And it's nice to see that most of this is already smoothed as well. But right now, we need to have some extra bags. Winter is coming, as they say in some famous show. But uh, it has come over here. And look at our wood stocks. They're definitely running low again. We should... Uh, we should definitely cut some more trees. It is of course because we are smithing so much. Uh, we're making copper barrels, copper bins. Lots and lots of statues. And that's going to take a lot of our charcoal. But uh, I'm going to pretty much cut every tree that has existed in this world. So far. And this is the highest level. I'm going to designate from here. To this edge. And then all the way down to. Well. Here. How do you now queue for chopping? Doesn't look like it. Maybe I didn't press right. Oh, going down. Why are you not chopping things that I designated? Or maybe they are actually designated as being chopped. No, no, no. We'll see if they get chopped or not. Can't render fat because we don't have enough fat. Alright, what do you have? You have round red zircon, leather, wool cloth, nieces, nieces. So the only thing that he was still requiring is, I think, the, the glass. Maybe he needs more glass than just one. I think the glass is still a priority.
How about collecting the sand? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into auto labor. And there is a way I can set the class maker. Class maker minimum three. How do you do that here? Auto labor. Wait, help. Auto labor. All right. Auto labor. Class maker three. All right, so now minimum of three dwarves will have the glass making skill on and immediately people are actually doing it. So that's one way we can fix it. So I think that maybe he needs more glass. And there's also people collecting sand, so that's absolutely good. Kind of what we want. A chemist is visiting. Interesting. Other trees being chopped. I don't see them. Well, I will check again later. We can't make any more glass right now because, well... Got gems, tent hides, metal bars. Are you going metal bars? Rock, yarn, cloth, tent hides. Got gems, tent hides, metal bars, green glass. Maybe you acquire even more leather. Oh, the, the job is active though. Because that could also be the thing, because he requested it twice. Do now. Fuck, the mandate's over. Mayor has ended the mandate. And I see some wood being carried down, so I do assume that uh, wood collecting is actually happening. So, that's good. And judging from this stream of dwarves, that is absolutely true. This dwarf is going for the high tanning, straight poppy skin, poor poppy. I hope it's going to be delicious at least. Rock doors are completed. We're now busy forging some barrels and after that we will forge the statues. And I think we will be done with forging for at least a little bit. We cannot export what? Crowns. Absolutely fine, we don't have a crown industry. And look at all, all that wood coming in. Yeah, definitely are sending wood away. The dwarf is once again on his way, so probably the letter requirement that he had is being fulfilled once again. Well, that's a good news, I think. Unfortunately, the pigtail season is over. That means we can't farm any pigtails anymore. This is cabbage. Are these both cabbage? Did we not fix that as well? Or was that... Like, one needs to be hemp. <sighs> I think that might have been because of the crash that we had that I forgot to do it again. And yeah, we made this leak. We have zero idlers every now and then. Well, of course, I'm turning up the sound a little bit because it's a little bit soft in my ear. Uh, we have a lot of jobs now actually being, of course, hauling um, the wood back to our stockpile because it's quite empty and well, there's a lot of wood. And finally, he started his construction. It only took us like, what, half an hour to figure that out? 
I'm, uh, I'm, I'm I'm definitely good at this game. I've definitely played this game more often. Can see that, right? But I am curious what he's going to make. Uh, last time we had a pretty good artifact, and I kind of hope we get another awesome artifact. I'm gonna restrict this actually for two to five. And I'm gonna go make shirts again. And what else? What did we have? We have trousers. Uh, socks and shoes. I believe those were the ones that we had. Of course it's going to be problematic since we don't have enough cloth to fulfill the need all the time. Oh, we have piglets! Oh uh, no, let's get your animals. We have one piglet. Oh, uh, piglet is a piglet. Sparring happening again. Good for them. Guess get it out of your system. Alright, can we make more instruments now? Not really. Uh, make. Make a couple of that, a couple of nails. Um. Because how many do we need? One, five, ten, uh, twenty in total. So I'm gonna make this ten to twenty, and this as well. Ten to twenty, because apparently that's the one we can make most easily, and therefore it's gonna be the one that we make. Hopefully we'll be able to bring some more variety in the long run when we check out more instruments. Especially once we have a timer. Agnesis Amulet. So you... I said I'll name you after my mother. Well I am curious what his mother is named. Afuzonul. Mine mirrors. An item of jewelry worn around the neck for its aesthetic value. And it is worth 46,000 dwarven bucks. Let's see the description. This is Ganesis Amulet. All craftsmanship of the highest quality. It is studded with silver and encircled with bands of oval Ganesis chubacons, sheep ladder, dog ladder, and cushioned diorite chubacons. This object menaces with spikes of Kinesis and red zircon. On the item is an image of dwarves in sheep wool. The dwarves are laboring. The artwork relates to the foundation of work begins by the chamber of drills of the mason of mansion of slings in the early spring of 251. On the item is the image of grizzly fingers, the giant wolf and dwarves in clean glass. Grizzly fingers is surrounded by the dwarves. The artwork relates to the rise of the giant wolf grizzly fingers as an enemy of the mansion of slings in the late spring of 161 during the giant wolf rampage and notch mirrored awesome but yeah we are work begins so this is an artifact that is about us coming here Relates to the foundation of work begins by the chamber of drills of the mason of the mansion of slings in the early spring of 251. Ooh, that's a bit loud. Let's turn that down a little bit. So yeah, it's uh, the foundation of our fort. Yeah, that's definitely an awesome thing that you should definitely include on your amulet. I'm proud that you made that. I really am. How oh, are the jobs going? Well, the iron barrels are almost done. Of iron. Copper. We make things out of copper in this fort. Why did every animal just got scared for a second? Yep, 
We saw all those animals over here scatter all, all of a sudden to the side. I wonder why. We should perhaps also remove this sand gathering place because I'm afraid that they actually are gathering sand over here. And that it is slowly eroding our fortress wall away. Uh, which is definitely something I would not want. So let's make this the sand gathering place. Think that would be fine. And everybody is busy. Fighting. Gathering wood. Forging copper barrels. And hopefully soon also silver statues. If our manager has enough time to actually queue up the silver statues. I could do it manually, and I think I will remove. Literally what we do is go to the forge at furniture, silver, a statue. And we will add a total of 40 of those jobs. No, that's a cage. We want a statue. And here as well. A silver is of course a very dense material. That's why we make war hammers out of them. But it also means it's quite heavy. But I do like the fact that we are making silver statues for export. And since we have uh, some of them laying around already, I think it's also time that we place some of them in our temples. I think this would be a nice place. This way each temple has at least a, a pair of silver statues in it. Which will increase the beauty of it. And uh, I think that's a general really nice thing for them to do. Now we're also almost full on cabinets here. Which is also really nice. But I think some of these are not bedrooms yet. So let's make them into bedrooms. Everybody gets a bedroom. Do we have enough bedrooms is the question though. 10, 20, 40, 50, 70, 80, 90, 110. Actually we're short on bedrooms. Oh my. Yeah, let's fix that first. We need only another 10 of them though. So uh, we don't have to construct the whole under block as well. We just need the upper block. It's too big. With that we should have... Well, we have the two luxury chambers as well. And uh, those count as two bedrooms as well. But I don't want to count them for completionist sake. I just want to have enough bedrooms. Like for all the dwarves and then the nobles extra. Like this. And later on we can make these noble bedrooms over here as well if we please. Yeah, that's this is fine. This is fine. Uh, oh yeah, we were busy creating bedrooms. Get it over there. 
No, those are not bedrooms either, so we need to do those as well. So many places that are not a bedroom yet, I'm a bit surprised. I've been slacking a, a little bit in that department. Because making it a bedroom means that a dwarf can claim it. Uh, a dwarf who claims it, makes it his own, and uh, nobody else will sleep in his bed. And uh, he can use the cabinet and stuff like that. Without that, I don't think he can actually. Now it's not that big of a problem. Oh, we're actually missing a bed as well. We need to queue up some uh, beds. Let's queue up. Uh, let's queue up 15 beds. I think that should be enough. These are bedrooms. Right, yeah. Yeah, you as well. Here as well. Here as well. Here as well. You as well, and you as well. Okay, that should be fine now. And queue up. Uh, let's do it manually. Hello, crafts, wharf, workshop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a carpenter's workshop, actually, not crafts, dwarf. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, that should do do it for now. Yeah, you can see the wood stocks are being filled in nicely again. So that's all good and well. You can't make any instruments here no only pipe sections and stuff like that right they do want more instruments instruments are fun um i should make here repeating job repeating job like that at least we have some variety there's that one blowing 48 tubes instrument that we have and we have the nelson odette uh, it's three kinds of instruments at least in a fort. That's something. Oh, we don't have enough silver anymore. We literally are out of silver. Well, it was about to happen sooner rather than later. Uh, three iron balls, a couple of one silver, quite some copper. Yeah. Um, let's see stones. Do we have tetrahedrite? No, we're also out of tetrahedrite. So we can. Uh, Stop queuing up silver statue jobs. So currently our metal industry is out of steam. We, we have quite a lot of statues. Um, I'm actually going to bring them already here. Can, at least we can, right? No, we can't because there are no merchants trading. That's interesting. I thought you could. Oh, apparently you can't, so... Tough luck for us. And the dwarves are going to haul it once the traders do come. I expect there's about like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Well, 20 statues should be quite a lot. Uh, seen as what we could buy with it last time, I think that will be more than enough for us. Uh, and I'm absolutely perfectly fine at the moment with uh, not constructing any more barrels, any more bins. I think we have enough of those at the moment, so that's not needed. And uh, well, we are quite busy with our dwarfs. So yeah, we might as well uh, wait a little bit with that before we start queuing up extra mining jobs to smelt more tetrahedrite. Um, we don't need the silver, we definitely don't need the copper, and therefore it's not really necessary to do it now. Do all outside plants grow year round? That's really interesting. I didn't know that. Good to know though. 
Oh, we have drinks. We have a hundred drinks, a lot of plants and some meat. And we are cooking some meals, so that's also nice. What are the limits for drinks? 100 to 200. Yeah, I think that should be enough. Maybe we do need another still though. To keep uh, the drink supply growing. Nah, that should be fine. Just keep an eye on it. If the drink is, uh, supply is dropping, then we need more. But that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, we hopefully will start to see some traders. And I really hope we will see some traders from some other countries. We get visitors, which are humans and stuff like that. Um, hopefully some human traders will also come by. But we will see about that in the next episode. Until then, thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.